According to statistics, only a small percentage of you who watch our videos are actually subscribed. If you're not subscribed yet and you enjoy what you see, do consider hitting the subscribe button. This encourages YouTube's algorithm in promoting more of our mental health content to more people out there. Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Have you experienced a traumatic event in your life? It's actually quite common and affects both men and women equally. According to the National Center for PTSD, 7-8% to of the US population will have PTSD at some point in their lives. Trauma is not a disorder, but an emotional response to an unexpected and terrible event where you feel that your physical safety and well-being was at risk. Some causes include extreme grief or insecurity, chronic stress, abuse, and living through natural disasters. Following a traumatic event, you may experience flashbacks, trouble relating to others, and difficulty sleeping. But there are also some symptoms that are more subtle than you might think. You might even do them, but don't know that it's a sign of trauma. So here are five signs you are dealing with psychological trauma. Number one, anxiety. Do you notice yourself tenser and on the edge lately? Studies have shown that trauma can make you more vulnerable to developing psychiatric disorders such as depression and anxiety. The stress from the traumatic event or from recalling moments surrounding the traumatic event, like experiencing flashbacks, can lead to an overwhelming feeling of lack of control. You may find yourself getting easily wrapped up in the emotions the traumatic event brings, that it causes your anxiety to worsen. Number two, getting startled easily. Are you easily alarmed? When you experience psychological distress or trauma, you may end up developing a heightened sensitivity to your surroundings, such as the people around you or the setting you're in. The reason for this may be due to the stress caused by the trauma. Your brain is constantly anticipating danger, and so sends signals to your brain to release cortisol and adrenaline that prepares you for a fight or flight response. This is why you may find yourself more aware of what's happening around you and jumpier at sudden movements. Number three, guilt, shame, or self-blame. Do you often catch yourself feeling bad or ashamed for things out of your control? Unnecessary or untraceable guilt or shame can be another symptom of psychological trauma. These feelings can arise from the actual experience or from the stigma surrounding the event you endured. For example, if a death had occurred during the event, you may experience survivor's remorse. What's worse is, is that the guilt and shame you feel may end up preventing you from reaching out for help, support, and treatment. Number four, aches and pain. Have you experienced pain somewhere for no reason? Another way psychological trauma can manifest itself is through physical pain and aches. The Institute for Chronic Pain found that at least 60% of arthritis patients report experiencing trauma at one point in their lives. This is because pain and trauma go hand in hand. Trauma causes pain and pain causes trauma. A possible reason for this link may have to do with the fact that the neurotransmitters responsible for regulating emotional response also regulate pain. Another reason could be that your nervous system becomes overly active due to chronic stress or emotional distress that it eventually causes central pain sensitization. Number five, disconnected or daydreaming. Do you daydream a lot? Another sign of psychological trauma is disconnectedness, and it can manifest itself as emotional numbness or maladaptive daydreaming. Though these two symptoms seem different, both are a disconnection from reality that serve as a coping mechanism. It's your mind's way of creating a safe space when there isn't one available. While neither manifestation seem harmful, both can cause you to withdraw socially and drive you deeper into loneliness. As a result, your social life, such as your relationship with your friends and family, may suffer. If you have experienced trauma, remember that you're not alone and there are steps you can take to help you cope with it, so don't be afraid to reach out for help and support. If you find this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.